Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I just wanted to go over a quick Adobe Premiere tip that has definitely helped me uh, save a lot of time, definitely remove a lot of frustration, and that is getting the timeline cursor to stay stationary instead of scrolling across the timeline. So what we're gonna do is basically make the timeline scroll instead of the cursor. So let's go ahead and jump over the screen and I'll show you exactly how to do this. So what we wanna do is inside this one, so normally what we wanna do is the timeline, you move the cursor to wherever you wanna go and when you hit play, the timeline cursor scrolls across the timeline and then jumps back over to the left side, scrolls all the way to the left side. And when I'm editing, it's not a huge deal, but I find myself scrolling quite a bit to keep up with the timeline. So this is a quick trick. We're gonna go ahead and hit play, and we're gonna make that timeline cursor stay right in the middle and the timeline is gonna scroll by instead of the cursor. So what we wanna do is go up to edit. We're gonna go all the way down to preferences in that menu, you're gonna go all the way down to Timeline. And inside this menu, you're gonna to go to Timeline Playback Auto Scrolling, and you're gonna switch this to Smooth Scroll. Go ahead and hit OK. Come back down to the Timeline and hit Play. And now we've got the Timeline scrolling instead of the cursor. So that works so when you go into gaps like this, you can just go right there, cut that out, and then hit Play, and it goes right back so you're not scrolling up and down, trying to get the uh, timeline to go back in line so that you can cut in certain spots. This is definitely a time saver for me and something that uh, just makes it easier to go through when you're editing. So that's it for this one, just a very quick tip. Uh, I hope that helps a few people. I looked for this one uh, all over the place before I finally figured out where this was, so I wanted to make a video showing it since, like I said, it took me so long to find this. So I hope that helps a few Adobe Premiere editors out there. If it does, let me know. If there's any other tips that you can think of that are kind of along that line, go ahead and share them in the comments down below. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you for watching.